Oh, yeah. There he was, buddy. Oh. Nice. I love, love, love this shallow water frogging early in the morning and all day long, right in the corner of the mouth. Let's get this girl back in the water. All right, let me take a second and show you what I'm using right here and why exactly I switched to it. This. Uh, this is the Captain Ken Dalbert. It's a cut. This is actually a custom. I started out with a buzzing toad, or uh, you know, a lot of people call it frog. Uh, for the most part, the distinction between the two is the toad is the soft plastic that you buzz with the little kicker feet, and the frog is a hollow body frog, a hard body frog, or in this case, it's a foam body with a kicking leg action. And the cool thing about this frog is that it's super realistic. I mean, when it sits in the water. Those eyes are just above the water line. The legs are sitting there, poised. And then when you kick it, it kicks. <clears throat> and just like a lot of times when I'm using a topwater popper, I like to use a pulse, pulse, glide, pause, pulse, 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 glide, and change the cadence up. Now with this frog, with the hook being out front, there's no need for a monster samurai hook set because when they grab it, they grab it by the head, and that hook point is right in the corner of their mouth. And that hook is super sticky. It looks awkward, but I promise you, the hookup ratio on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. You can find these at bass-frog.com bass or Hook One Kayak Fishing Gear, but this one right here is a specially designed frog by Ken Darbert, and you have to order these, and there's a pretty good weight, but it's worth it, I promise you. Let's go see if we can get another bass.